Hey everyone, Taylor Stein, Fusion 360 Evangelist here. And this is actually a follow-up video to the previous one that I made. Uh, my last video, I showed you how to combine sketching and sculpting within Fusion 360. If you missed it, you can check it out right here. But today I'm going to take you through the second half of the workflow and point out some really helpful tips along the way. So let's get to it. So as you might have guessed, I used a loft to create the primary shape of the backplate. And for any loft, you need at least two profiles. So to set this up, I created one construction plane past the solid body and one construction plane placed inside the middle of it. And I sketched one profile out here on this plane. So I need to sketch one more profile on this construction plane right here, but I want to have it be centered about this point right here. So to do that, I'll first create a sketch on this offset plane, and I'll use the project tool to include this center point in my current sketch. With that center point in place, I'll create one more center rectangle, and it's perfectly aligned. For the loft, I'll navigate into the Create menu, select Loft, and I'll click on my two profiles. If you're having a hard time clicking a profile, you can left click and hold and select it from the list. By default, it performs a cut, but I actually want to change this to Join. And I can really change the transition between the first and the second profile by changing the continuity from Free to Directional Control. With Directional Control, I can drag this arrow to really have some control over that transition between the two shapes. To give this backplate some thickness, I'll turn on the visibility of my previous sketch, and under the Create menu, I'll choose Extrude, and extrude this profile out an eighth of an inch. Next, using the Fillet tool, I'll round off all four corners. You'll see I can use the Marquee selection to really easily select all four corners of the back plate right here. For the holes in my mounting plate, I'll create a sketch on this back face, and you'll see that it includes the center point of these arcs. I'll use those as a reference point for when I draw these center diameter circles. To repeat these two circles in all four corners, I'll sketch two lines, one from the midpoint from top to bottom, and one from the midpoint from left to right. To convert these lines into construction geometry, I can click on one, hold shift and select the other line, right click to bring up the marking menu, and I can select normal slash construction. You'll see that they're now changed to dotted lines indicating that there's now construction geometry. With those in place, I'll use the mirror tool to mirror these about these two lines. I'll select one circle and the other, and for the mirror line, I'll choose this right here. I'll repeat this for the bottom half. At this point, I want to add some fillets to these four edges right here, but I really wanted to do it before I made these holes. All I have to do is drag my playhead back to a particular point in the timeline and insert that command. Under Modify, I'll choose Fillet, select my four edges, and enter a value. All that's left is to drag the playhead to the front, and all my changes update. For a smooth transition, I'll apply one last fillet on this loop. I'll specify it to be a G2 fillet. Lastly, to put my initials on the back here, I'll create a base feature. And within this base feature, I'll create a sketch on this back face. Within this sketch, I'll import my SVG. And this is just an SVG, something from Illustrator, um, where I sketched out my initials and saved it out as a .svg. And I'll scale it down. You see it comes in rather large, so I'll scale it down. I'll click OK. I'll stop my sketch. And now I can move my sketch around until it's in the position that I like. With my SVG in place, all that's left is to create one last extrusion to emboss my initials into place. So there you have it. There's the second half of this workflow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to reach out to me directly, feel free to tweet me at Taylor underscore Stein. Thanks for watching.